Live, this is one for the record. I'm Diana, and today is Tuesday, Tuesday evening. And here's your update for today. It's the eve of the 4th of July, and people are already starting to celebrate. That's what that noise is. That's what's going on. And it's a big full moon out, too. So, let's see what's going on today. Also, someone just called me from California and let me uh, know that Andy Griffith died. He, he passed away around 7 o'clock uh, this morning, and he was buried by 11 this morning. Uh, I guess he had something. Maybe they, I, I'm not sure what, how he died, but they probably knew he was already sick. But Andy Griffith has passed away today. We'll miss him. I did a couple matlocks with him. He's a very nice gentleman. He's very nice. I got some pictures with him. I'll show it to you one day later. Alrighty, let's go into the Extinction Protocol 2012 and beyond. See what's uh, going on today. It's very hot, very hot. Late at night here at, in the uh, central Florida, the Space Coast, where fireworks is allowed year-round. Isn't that cool? Florida is cool. Rare cholera outbreak kills three in eastern Cuba. Also, brutal heat wave, 2,000 temperature records have been broken th in the past week all over the country. And it's still hot right now. The report is coming out of Chicago. 1.8 million U.S. customers still without power. It could take more than a week for some utilities warned. My goodness. And this is in uh, Washington. From North Carolina to New Jersey, nearly 1.8 million people still without electricity. El Hero sees increased seismicity in the mag magmatic process, but some stabilization in the deformations. That's the Canary Islands today. Heads up. Let's see what else we got going on. Ooh, I'm sweating. It's so hot in here. Come on, Internet. Too slow. Iran says test fires missile over threats of attack. And what else we have today? Also, Iraq unraveling as violence across the country escalates 44 killed in latest bomb blast. Yes, Max, it's hot in here. I'll turn the air conditioner back on in a minute. Mexico declares national animal emergency due to H7N3 outbreak of bird flu. Gads. All right, let's move on now. Let's go into SOT.net. Yes, Max. He's talking. Can we move any slower? Bright House was able to get an extension on this. That was nice. It is just running so slow. I apologize. That's why I can only open one other window. Oh. I don't know what I did with my sunglasses. I'll have to find those. They are prescription. That's why I wear them in here. Try to shield my eyes from the computer screen. <laughs> Alright, 
Let's see what we got going on here. Got sweat going in my eyes. Oh my goodness, it's so hot. Death of birds and the bees across America. Yep, you just keep going with that GMO uh, stuff. That's what I say. Morning shower paints rule canure red. Zealand, New Zealand's biggest quake in a hundred years today. Last night's magnitude 7.0 earthquake in the south. Taranaki Bite. Phoenix puts on Habub Watch. There's another uh, giant sandstorm going to Phoenix. Uh, de destructive derecho windstorm sweeps across U.S. It's like a cloud going across. Like this. Flash floods roll through Auckland. USGS earthquake magnitude 6.2 off west coast of New Zealand. That was earlier. Rays to the ground. Shocking before and after images reveal scale of destruction caused by fire sweeping through Colorado. Also, U.S. map shows the path of every tornado to hit the U.S. in the last 60 years. Shows them from almost the mid, right down the middle of the country and heading east all the way across. Air Force C-130 crashes fighting Black Hills wildfire. U.S. military grounds all seven air tankers. Okay, it's terrible. Okay, let's move on to the watchers. Watching the world. Hold on, Max. We're getting there. Stand by. I did run a video late, late last night. Check it out if you haven't already. You'll find it very interesting. From Pastor Paul Bagley, 34. Max, stop, honey. Yes. You go drink your Wawa. Here he comes. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, come here. Oh, the dogs. <laughs> oh, the dogs. The dogs. The dogs. All right. Oh, he's telling me a story. He wants that air on. We got to hurry. Yes. Oh, uh, Mom. He talks. Oh. Okay, hold on, okay? Hold on, darling. Yes, Tippy. Hold on, darling. Increased solar activity, third M-class solar flare from Sunspot 1515. That might be what's causing all this. There he is. He wants to say hello. You going to say hello? Yes, come, come. Oh, look at all the dogs. They're saying hello. Say hello to the camera. You can watch it later when I play it back. Okay. <coughs> Stop it. I know. Here we go. They're acting wild. This is a full moon. New tropical cyclone forming in South China Sea. And it's actually dated tomorrow, the 4th. United Kingdom experienced wettest June in recorded history. Power outages in Washington, D.C. area. Satellite view. Just shows all the lights out. New tropical storm forming in eastern Pacific near Mexico. Oh, they're acting wild. Stop. Moderate to high solar activity for beginning of July. Also, Venus and Jupiter show in July. Very strong. And deep magnitude 7.0 earthquake struck off coast of North Island, New Zealand. Biosphere reserve burning near Sofia, Bulgaria. Heat wave breaking record after record in the U.S. Millions without power damages are catastrophic. 
That's why you gotta prep. Be ready and prep now. Anything can happen. Indonesia calls to create single time zone. Forest fires ravage eastern Spain. Hundreds of wildfires continue to burn across Russia. Veil of dust over Pakistan and Indus River Valley. Severe floods and landslides in northeastern India. Sup okay, that's Super Derecho of June 29, 2012. One of the most destructive complexes of thunderstorms in memory. And that's it for that one. Let's go on to the... He's having a nervous breakdown, I'm telling you. He's, he's like mimicking me in his own dog language. Max, stop rolling over like that, honey. Just hold on. Mommy will be there in a few minutes. Come on. Let Mommy do this. Thank you. I'll be there in a few minutes. I'll turn on the air in a minute. I just turned off the air for a few minutes. It is hot in here. Not that hot, but it's hot enough. It bothers him. Yeah, all right, you hold on. Max, hold on. I'll turn on the air in a second, please. Thank you. Wall Street Journal. DNA News, Fukushima. Area around Fukushima Daiichi, Daiichi sank half a meter after 311 quake. May have damaged critical piping at reactors. Why? Why report that now? See what I'm saying? A day late and a dime short. Why are you, why are you putting this uh, Wall Street Journal? Why are you putting this out now? Nothing else to report on. Watch. Inside the center of where it all began, Japan's massive weekly protest started with a few sweet ladies from Fukushima in a tent. Now, three, 300th day of occupied Tokyo on Friday. Swiss, Swiss think tank. Dire situation for global environment if number four fuel pool releases all radioactive material government appears to be keeping information classified. You get what I'm saying now? See the Swiss know. Swiss think tank. D dire situation for global environment if number four fuel pool releases all radioactive the material government appears to be keeping information classified. I told you don't believe anything TEPCO says or anything from them. We need a third party to tell us it's alright that actually goes in there or can uh, put, turn their telescopes around and zoom in on that. What's up with that? How come you haven't turned uh, NASA? Why haven't you turned uh, around Hubble and all those other telescopes and faced it towards Fukushima so people could see what, what's really going on? Huh? Heads up on that. I guess you didn't think to do that, did you? I guess I have to tell you that. Restarted reactors sit next to Devil's Triangle, where northern and southern halves of Japan meet. How could we have built so many nuclear plants in such a place, Tokyo professor? Devil's Triangle. No, I think they mean in the Pacific... The Dragon's Triangle. Heads up! It's called the Dragon's Triangle. And over here on this side of the, of, of the East Coast, that's the Devil's Triangle, the Bermuda Triangle. That's over here. Over there in the South, South Pacific, that's the Dragon Triangle. All right. Japanese nuclear expert containment vessel at... Reactor number two likely seriously damaged by quake on 311. J Japanese nuclear expert. Containment vessel at number two. Likely. Oh, it's likely, even though it had hydrogen explosions. Likely seriously damaged by quake on 311. Why do we need to see this crap? We want to know what's going on with number four. What is this crap? Stop dancing around. We already know the other ones are in melt through. Likely damaged are in melt through. China syndrome. They're gone. 
postponed. Problem at Japan's restarted Ohi Oe nuke plant prevents reactor from generating power. Postponed. Problem at J Japan's restarted Oe nuke plant prevents reactor from generating power. No power? Heads up, that might be a melt through, meltdown. That's all I can think of. If they can't get power out of it, where's the rods? Where's everything? It's probably, that's another one probably gone. Tokyo professor warns possible active fault dividing reactors at Japan only operating nuclear plant. Shattered zone runs between unit 2 and 3 at OE. Also, Minamizoma official, Minamizoma official, plutonium detection not being published by government mayor should be blamed if people die. No, no, not just the mayor, the prime minister, TEPCO, all of you, all of you. Crimes against humanity. Are you ready to get arrested? Because it's coming real soon. Because the whole world is watching this. The whole world. Are you ready? Are you ready to spend the rest of your lives in jail? How's that? And I bet you, you all have radi radiation sickness too. White smoke from Fukushima Daiichi Reactor Number 6 Turbine Building. You know, I forget. You know what I'm saying. You use it as a weapon. You don't keep it by your civilians. You use it as a weapon. You don't keep it by your civilians. They're not giving us the information. I told you to prepare and move out of the way. Because by the time they tell you, it's going to be too late. And you should have, could have, would have used the iodine. You should have, could have, would have used the zeolite. You should have, could have, would have gotten out from the west coast up and down from Alaska up and down all the way down to to Mexico get out of there that's all I have to say you want the truth or all you want to sit on your hands or are you just lazy it's common sense they lied about everything they they fudged the the numbers what do you think you think they're going to tell you when it does go up? I think it, they already... I showed you a few videos ago. Check it out for yourself. I have it on tape. They're sitting there taking apart number four, okay? Gunderson. Uh, there's nothing on here. There's nothing on here. All right. I'm not going to even report on it. It's done. Turn this off. Alrighty then. You have a wonderful, wonderful evening. I gotta turn my air conditioner back on, even though it's pretty late at night now. And I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Take care.